good morning students yesterday we were discussing about the problems or issues that were faced by women today we are going to discuss some other social problems of india you know already we have discussed in detail the chapter since we are on the move of revision we will touch important points of reform movements in india you don't just think that reform activities are taking place or in india no you know change is a process which never stops so in our social thinkings even in family relationship even in every activity of human society there are changes and improvements we know time memorial to present the idea of might is a right has come into existence so the weak persons who are physically unable to compete have gathered together and asked the pond of flesh from the strong so a demand by weak persons physically not mentally or intellectually inequality is there in the creation itself everything is not equal and it is never possible if everything is equal we know we are not able to identify the human beings in the world six hundred crores of people are living in the universe in the earth if all the persons were looking the same the height was same the intellectual capacity was same then what would be the situation we cannot identify other human beings so inequality is the part of nature then why do we demand equality so we should go in accordance with the nature this inequality has to be accepted but everybody has to live 
you know lion is the king of a forest it has got the capacity to kill any animal but you know nature has made lion in a such a way that when it is hungry it will hunt and eat when it is its hunger is satisfied it will not attack any animal that comes near to it so nature has made its arrangement that is why the members in the society began to demand equal rights for everybody whether you are physically strong mentally strong socially strong whatever way you are strong you are bound to treat other human beings also equally there should be no discrimination that is what we are going to discuss you know the greatest social problem of india is a caste system so this caste system has divided the indian society into four divisions namely shudras vaisyas kshatriyas and brahmins and this division has been mentioned in a book named manu smriti if one human being is born in a, to a family who are not much educated the mother members of the society forces him to remain such a way and no chance of getting upgraded or promoted or become normal human beings so this social order has been questioned by many so when christian missionaries have come to india they set up schools and began to educate the members of the lower society and began to come up you know present day anybody can become any any kind of office he can become the prime minister he can become the president so that is because equality is there in the constitution the members of the society has agreed that everybody has got equal chance of education in ancient period only brahmins were permitted to study kshatriya kshatriyas were permitted only to fight learn to fight and vaishyas were educated just to do business and agricultural activities they were put into a frame and none of them were permitted to jump out of the frame or go out of the frame so 
so the social reformers beginning with raja ram mohan roy all began to ask for a removal of social injustice of caste system so many people ran away from india to different countries like mauritius trinidad indonesia because of the caste system they felt if they go out of india at least they will be out from the caste dominations so the desire of the people to be free and independent in their, in their thinking has made the desire to get out of india we just to go back to one more i mean we'll come back to that in eastern bengal we have haridas thakur as a real person who tried to reform the society there is a sri narayana guru in kerala he has founded an organization named SNDPY Sri Narayana Dharma Paripalana Yoga and his famous statement is oru jaati oru madam oru devu manushar kellavark oru jaati oru madam oru devu one caste one religion and one god for human beings why the frictions are there because mine is important my caste is important my religion is important when that feeling comes there is a friction so sri narayana guru has told no differences are needed then we see the activities of jyotiba phule and his famous writing is gulam giri he was a leader of low caste then we come to see the situation in the american society you don't think this problems were there only in india in africa black people were controlled by the white people who went and settled down there like britishers have come to india and tried to uh, ruled us the same way europeans went to african continent and ruled them and from there from african continent they took the black people to american continent to do the agricultural activities and they were called slaves they were purchased and sold in the open market is think of a human beings being purchased and sold in the open market and they were tied up in american houses to do the work and they were given freedom by abraham lincoln in 1865 but they were not given equal rights to vote that they got after 1962 
So we gave or we our we the Indian citizens got the right to vote in 1950 January 26th. But the American Negroes got for a long time after 1964. Think about it. So we are in that way. Still in our society, these problems persist. We have to change the society feeling. That can take place only through education. You know, temples are there in India. And many temples, the upper class don't permit the lower class to enter inside. Restrictions are made. They can go around the temple, even you know, coming near to the distance of the temple, they feel that God will be angry. I don't know how God will be angry with it. I can understand. So, the temple in reproclamations, Kerala had a lead in that way also, temple in reproclamations were there. So, like that, so many problems were faced by the lower caste people. Then, E.V. Ramaswamy Naikar has a, or a Periya, he founded self-respect movements, Sandan Dharma Sabhas and Bharat Dhar Dharma Mahamandal. All these organizations had come up in the world. Kesava Chandrasen continued with the activities of Raja Ramohan Roy, founded Brahma Samaj. When we see an young person named Deresio, he founded the organization named Young Bengal, like in Europe, Young Italy, Young Germany, Young Europe, which has led a lot of changes in European society. Like Young Bengal movement was started by Deresio, questioning the existing or wrong systems. Then we can see. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa's organization or mission, Ramakrishna mission led by or founded by Swami Vivekananda. He is a guru, a respected person who has spoken in the World Religious Conference in 1893. The audience were taken aback when he uh, now, um, greeted them. My dear brothers and sisters, usual greetings in English we know, ladies and gentlemen, here there is a change, my dear brothers and sisters. So that is introduction itself. So that is Swami Vaikan. He propagated the people respect have self-respect, try to fight injustice. That is what, eat it together, drink it together, share everything. That were the ideas of uh, Swami Vivekananda. So no caste discrimination should take place. Human beings should be respected for the work they do. They are, should not be respected according to the position. Position also we should respect, but if the person who sits in that position doesn't do the work, we cannot respect that person. So there is some expected way the work has to be done. So that work is done. Any field, if you do your work properly, you should be respected. If I am a teacher, if I don't do the teaching job as much as I can, I cannot be respected, I should not be respected. A student, 
gets a respect and recognition when he performs his duties that that means when he studies well so that is respect is for that that's what swami vivekananda has to we can see prarthana samaj it was established in bombay in 1867 veda samaj then we can see aligad movement in muslim organizations it was started by mohammedan anglo oriental college by sayed ahmed khan in 1875 then sick organizations sing sapa movements like the different movements took place in india started in india to fight the caste systems and social inequality in indian society you know another problem we have discussed sadi then child marriage as per the present law i hope you know you must be 21 years to get married if you are a boy and if you are a girl 18 years nowadays there is a discussion going on to make it same age i am not going to enter into that area of discussion the problem of child marriage at that time marriage is something and is an agreement between two individuals when it comes to individuals naturally with the two families when it little bit comes with the two family naturally it is with the society two villages or two societies two groups of people so there should be mutual agreement so it is not by one two individuals around modern period we may think it's between two individuals there's a nuclear families and all those things it is not when marriage time at least we know the members of the society every family members they come together exchange greetings exchange and they agree to support the family new family but that new family should know why they are coming together what are their responsibilities at younger age 5 years 6 years they don't understand what is marriage even 11 12 years 13 years they don't understand why marriage what is use of how it is to be taken place what are their responsibilities so that is the change that modern period child marriage and then if husband dies the girl at younger age itself becomes a widow some place is sadi all those things that is very common the social changes it was 16 16 has become 18 and 20 so that is the child marriage is another social problem that occurred because they were not known so this kind of social changes are part of it now you all the children can go to school they get educated they are able to serve their jobs girls can have their own income boys can have his own income like that social changes are a part of it okay thank you very much